Hello again, this is Josh, first mate on the AJ Mirwald, bringing the Bayshore to you. Today I want to focus on a tool that most people have heard of, and that since 960 AD has aided explorers in finding their way through foreign landscapes and across vast oceans. As you may have guessed, I'm speaking about a compass. Although the compass was invented in China 20 BC using lodestones, it wasn't actually used for land navigation until 960 AD, and believe it or not, it wasn't used on boats for maritime navigation until 1111. Surprisingly, prior to navigation, compasses were actually used for geomancy through the feng shui principles and fortune telling, where they utilized the suspended lodestone's affinity to point towards the poles in order to determine the most ideal places to grow crops, construct buildings, and mine for precious stones. While discovering rare gemstones is an alluring prospect, the crew of the AJ Mirwald uses its compass in conjunction with nautical charts to help us stay on course and navigate to our ports of call, where we're able to take students and passengers on sails to teach them about the environment and our rich history of sailing and oystering. Since its invention, many types of compasses have been developed, um, including dry compasses, bearing compasses, liquid compasses, and dry compasses. Um, the type of compass that most people are familiar with, and the type of compass that we use on the Mirwald most often, is that liquid compass. You can see it right here. Now, though the liquid compass was inv invented in 1690, it was not made popular on ships until the 1800s, and you didn't hold it in your hand until the 1930s. Liquid compasses work by using liquid to dampen a magnetized needle or a card, like you see on these compasses. These have a card instead of a needle. Such that the excessive swing or wobble or movement is reduced thus improving the ease in which you can actually look down and read the compass because it's not wiggling around everywhere and this decreasing the physical wear on the apparatus. Like on most ships, our compass is protected, protected inside a binnacle and it's gimbaled so that it can move freely while remaining level despite the ship pitching and rolling in heavy seas. So even if the ship is rolling around, the compass can relate, remain about relatively level you can still read it because it's gimbaled, okay? One way to think about steering a, by compass is to imagine that you are pivoting the entire ship around a static point where the compass is always pointing north and the ship is moving around that point. Typically, the captain or watch officer will designate a course to steer or a point on the compass to follow either in degrees or by directional points. You can effectively box or divide a compass into 32 directional points, which include cardinal points like north, south, east, and west, and ordinal points like northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest. In addition to those, there's about 24 other points, as you can see, all these little diamonds and triangles, and they're all separated by about 11 and a quarter degrees. So all told, there's 32 points on a compass. So when a captain first commands you to steer northeast by north, it may sound confusing, but with time and with practice, as with any new language, you'll learn to grow and understand. What are some examples of how you have used a compass? Please share them in the section below. Until next time, I'm excited to use a compass to help me bring the Bayshore to an area near you.